Hello everyone, how you guys doing? This is me Redblade and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I just got back home from work and Classic Arena Takedown just uh, finished and we end up in Silver 2. So pretty cool. I guess we are doing pretty fine. And uh, so far like uh, silver 2 this quickly i think it's uh, we are making bunch of progress and soon we will even do more better because we will make the elaine six star today i know i'm kind of late it's all due to the work i'm having so um the work situation is kind of difficult but uh, you know what we are we are enjoying our time and we are enjoying our grind so so far i was able to make three rank five uh, three rank five and then two forties which means uh the rest of the two which are going to be ranked up are already uh, ready to go uh, just need the food so two four star food right here uh, and it means that we lacking six more four star food one two three four five six so you can see six food are ready to go so now we just have to focus on our two stars and make them all rank uh, three and feed them and then boom there there goes the first rank six of the account and uh, about uh, progression we were able to reach 11 uh, chapter but it was kind of difficult to be fair for the five star Elohim so we were not stressing out on that one so our Elohim build is this the starter life steals and then this three star piece pretty random and this five star piece was pretty nice so I actually put it for the crit rate so 82 crit rate 169 speed 1700 attacks attacks are pretty bad and I was able to find attack a ring for her and literally it was kind of bad but yeah I kind of hate this instant upgrade is locked for level 40 I think this should be unlocked on level 30 to save this stress because it's pretty frustrating not just kinda it's pretty frustrating but yeah uh, and Deacon just trying to keep him fast so 173 and literally it's our day 2 basically day 2 of playing the account and I think we are doing pretty decent overall level 34 about others okay I can see Drock is level 35 so we are um, pretty much in the mix and the Noise tournament is finished and your boy end up on rank 2 because I wasn't sleeping like for 5 days I literally had 40 minutes sleep in 5 days and I had like five hours sleep yesterday and it cost me this ancient but 75 gems are not horrible either so win-win situation for us we use gems to farm food because our food farm been pretty pretty damn low so we don't want to miss out on those 2.8 million damn it well done pretty solid for a five star kale let's try our team it's literally Elhain versus the boss but i'm sure we will do amazing once we reach uh, rank 6 on our Elhain because the war master will add up a lot
So 700k from Elaine, who is just five star. I think that's pretty significant if we consider she is just a five star. So that was the clan boss and uh, yeah i think i told you guys all the do and don't type of stuff quick i can quickly sum it up the challenges can be decent so if you can do it no problem mission part one of the mission till you reach 300 gems worth it after that shift all your focus on the rank six which means that doing nothing besides the simply arena and arena plus campaign that's it that should be your main focus and after purchasing the masteries of the first champion which is actually i didn't show you guys the masteries since the masteries she got pretty amazing and at the end i will take war master pretty solid enough for her so these masteries, she can farm campaign. She can be overall. She can be uh, utilized overall against bosses and everything. So that's pretty solid as well. Uh, she is fully booked. So even being a five star. Okay, look at this piece, man. What a hard piece she got. This is decent as well. This I wish it was on crit rate, but pretty decent as well so overall once i fix her a helmet she will be on a very sustainable build which she actually is pretty decently built so putting your lifestyle especially the boot and the attack uh, the chest plate will be pretty significant and if you got the crit rate glove even better but i've been using this glove where are you so this one this glove of crit rate four star i've been using and she was able to do nine three brutal with that one so which means that uh, we are literally we were literally on yeah i think it was this was the piece i've been using at her and This was the glove so 161 speed and 72 crit rate uh 1.7k attack and i was not having ring either so that was the build and it was able to push brutal with the deacon's lead so this current one is even much more improved like more attacks and uh, more speed so this is a solid especially the double speed roll was amazing good luck on that one i got so um overall i will say um my luck's been okayish on the rolls but uh, the starter lifestyle is, should be equipped on ilhain so she can carry your campaign hard this one i think uh those who are not doing the challenge you should have picked monkey sun wukong but we are doing the challenge so the best starter possible for me then could be deacon so i picked him and he was a clutch champion for me overall and the mission i told you about as well and the gem mine i think i will not unlock the gem mine just yet so gem mine can be uh something which you can skip and i haven't purchased the slots as well but yeah i've been purchasing the two star and three st uh, one star from this shop i was just waiting for you know some com uncommon yeah at least uncommon or some common boots five star that's what i've been looking for here in the campaign but so far no luck on this on those as well so you no know, vice channel tournament was pretty good and artifact enhancement i was able to max it out even go further more on this one so our progress been pretty significant in terms of uh, you know staying focused on one thing so this just got unlocked okay so this just got unlocked and for most people they don't even give a damn they will say this is just out of my reach so what you're gonna do is you just pick your boot champions 
like one man defense here one man defense here one man's defense here so yeah put one man defenses so your teams will get beat down and pushed backward constantly and then just uh, put whatever champion you got uh, who are built and that's how you're gonna push further here in tag team arena so don't just you know waste even if you can just win one battle with just your starter champion just do it it costs no harm to at least farm win farm and win one battle and collect the gold coins which you are getting from the classic arena so comfortable win on round one this will be a losing battle i knew it because he was six star literally and this we, this we will lose as well but doesn't matter our main goal was the gold bars we were able to collect six gold bars but once we get you know pushed backward but yeah that was the current progress and our focus will remain our focus will remain on the food making and trying to push our Elhain to rank 6 ASAP, which I will do in a while. So, there you go, guys. That was the update for FTP account day 3. And it's me, Redblade. Until next time, peace.